the crafters, it's Hannah from handcraftedcards.com. Welcome to my channel today. Today's tutorial is this little mini album, which I absolutely love. So it opens out like that. We've got some flaps going on there. And then a pocket. Really, really cool. So I'm going to show you how to put it together. We're going to cut the pieces that we need and we can make this together it's actually very quick to make um so yeah it won't take you long to put these together so if you are new to my channel and this is the kind of tutorial that you enjoy then don't forget to subscribe so you will be notified every time i upload a new video which is three times a week so you don't want to miss any other tutorials so let's get started okay so to start off we're going to cut our pages and these are 12 by 6 so I'm using black because that's the only 12 by 12 that I've got left in so we need three of those and then for the covers we need two pieces that are six and a quarter by six and a quarter so can't get that out of this can I <laughs> no worries we'll come back to that in a minute so with our three pieces I'm gonna grab the scoreboard and score those at three and nine and nine and you're going to do that for all three pieces three and nine <coughs> three and nine okay then we're just going to fold and burnish those score lines the basis of the album done so after you've done that you need to stick together those two pieces and then those two pieces so I'm going to use what should we use I'll use some double sided so on Two of the pieces you just need to put tape on one flap and I'm going to do it all the way around just to make sure it's stuck really well and then on this one I'm going to open it that way you're going to do it on both flaps. So I might speed up through this section. Actually, what am I talking about? You only need to do it on one. <laughs> oh dear, what am I like? So, you actually just need to do it on one flap not two. Okay, so oh, grab my piercer, take the backings off, I need to line these two pieces up and stick those together. burnish it both ways and then do the same on this side okay 
and then do the same thing, make sure it's lined up and burnish it. There we go, so that is the basis of your album and then this will fold over that way and that will fold over that way and give it another good burnish in both positions so open it and fold that one in and fold that one and then give it a good burnish that way either way you fold it it's gonna sit nicely okie dokie so now that we've done that we need to do the cover so I'm gonna go and decide which cover which colour even I want for my cover my cover I've decided to go with soft suede so I need one piece that is six and a quarter by twelve and then two pieces that are six and a quarter by six and a quarter so And these leftover bits we'll use for photo mats afterwards. So taking the larger of the cover pieces, bring the scoreboard back in, and we're going to split. We <laughs> can't speak. We're going to score at two and three quarters. three, nine, and nine and a quarter. <laughs> My cat's jumping away, he's not supposed to. Okay. Right, and then fold on those score lines. This is going to be our cover. Okay, so you've got your cover like so. So this is going to get stuck inside like either way, it doesn't matter going to get stuck and it will fit nicely in the middle there and then these will close over but obviously that doesn't meet up so that's why we have these pieces so these will sit on each of those flaps and will give you another area to work with so let's get some sticking done and so you want tape on the two flaps on both of these like so so that's the, on the outside and then with this piece you want tape on the back of the middle section just the middle section so that's your front flip it over and that's where you want to stick your tape and this you want to make sure is really well stuck so good tape coverage please there we go okay 
So bringing this back in, this is going to sit in the middle. So remove all the tape. make sure this is even top to bottom so I'm just going to stand up there we go <coughs> and then open it up and give it a good burnish from the inside So that's really stuck well. Okay. Then we can add our flaps to these sides. open it out you can uh, line it up with that score line up to it but not over it and again give it a good burnish Oops. my phone and the same this side Going up to the score line but not over it. There we go. How quick was that? So it will open like that, and then you have your middle section so you can close either way. I like them closed to the outside and then in, in and then that side and that side. You may need to trim one side a little bit shorter um, if it's not sitting nicely but I think mine is fine. So the next thing is to decorate. So I think I've decided I'm going to go with the Coffee Break Designer Series paper. Um, so it does go quite nicely with the uh, colour of the cardstock. So I am going to cut my uh, pieces that I need and then I'll be right back and give you those measurements. Alrighty, so I have cut all of my paper and I'll give you those measurements now. So for the front cover, I've got a piece of basic black that is... Uh, six by six <laughs> i will have all these measurements written down as well so don't worry if you don't catch them and then a piece of very vanilla that is five and a oh gosh what was it <laughs> yeah five and a half by five and a half so i'm going to do some stamping on there later on so i'll just pop that to the side for the second so but the measurements that you need are basically the same throughout the whole thing except for the cover so for the cover sections that's these two flaps your de designer series paper is six by six so that's for this flap and this flap one that we added on so those are six by six then for the rest of it for the i'm calling it the large photo mat those are um five and three quarters by five and three quarters so that'll be for that page when you flip it open it'll be for this larger one here and then when you flip it open the middle sections there they're all the same size so you only really have to remember one measurement 
and then for the smaller flaps these ones they're five and three quarters by two and three quarters and I've, again it's the same for both sides so I've kind of gone for uh, I've done it so it all kind of coordinates so when you open it up you're gonna have it's going to look like that so those two match and then those obviously it's from the same um, designer series paper pack so it will match and then that one matches that one and then when you open it up to the middle like whoops, like so then it's all going to match with the coffee cups so it will look like that so I've got two smaller ones there, one of the larger ones there and two smaller ones there and then when you open this side we're going to have the coffee stains like so and then when you open this side you're going to have the stripes so what I'm going to do, I'm going to speed through it all, I'm going to stick all these all these down um, but I will obviously uh, speed it up because it's going to take, you know, a few minutes to do it all. So, uh, yeah, just enjoy me sticking it down. <laughs>
Okay, so I've cut out these pieces from the designer series paper and I think that's pretty much how I'm going to lay out. I'm going to do some stamping on here first using the uh, Timeless Texture stamp set and the coffee stain. So, let's pop that on a block and with some soft suede I'm just going to stamp some coffee stains along the bottom and the top. I'm just stamping off any of the excess ink that is on here as well. So you get a two-tony type of look. And I'm just going to keep going until all of that ink is gone. I think that's probably got it all. And I'm turning the stamp as I was going so it's not all, you know, just exactly the same as you go along. So, now I'm going to arrange my pieces. And I can't remember how I had them. <laughs> Typical. Uh, um, one of these down here. Thing like that I think yeah I think we'll go with that that looks good Let me zoom in so you can see There you go. So I'm just going to stick all those down and I will speed through this part as well.
Okay. So now I've stuck those and I've got the truly tailored stamp set. Let me zoom back out. There we go. So I'm going to do a little bit of stamping on just a scrap piece that I've got. And I'm going to use a espresso. Just clean off my stamp. I'll pop that one away. So I'm going to use the truly tailored and the looking sharp stamp because obviously it's like a photo little mini album. So figure, figure, looking sharp is appropriate. <laughs> and then using the um, tru truly tailored punch. Oh, oh, oh nearly. So before I stick this down as well, I'm actually going to ink the edges with soft suede and I'm just going to touch the edge of the ink pad so it's just ever so slightly, I don't know if you can make it out, but it's just colouring the edges. So when you hold it up against another piece, you can see the edges are coloured. So let that dry for a sec. Then take this piece and some of the burlap, I'm just going to wrap around. down really well into that adhesive. Wrap it around and pull it kind of tight if you can. And snip that off. Now add some adhesive all the way around the edges and some in the middle I cut it so you've got a good size border around the edge as well. I thought that would look good. Okay, now we can stick this to the front. sure it's the right way around. We don't want to stick it down the wrong way. So what I'm going to do so I can see clearly. And 
and then the edges of this should be dry so I'm just going to add some dimensionals to the back and just to be sure it sticks over that burlap I've added a few extra I'm just going to pop that in the middle, press it down really well. Oh, look how cute! I love it. Awesome. Okay, so I uh, that is pretty much the album finished. It's just to decide now if you want some pockets on the inside. So I'll show you how to do that. Um, you could just leave it as it is now, and that would be gravy. Um, but you might want some pockets so you can add pockets to any of the let me zoom out so you can see oh there we go that was far any of the larger um pages so you could add pockets to these two here i wouldn't i wouldn't for this one um i don't i don't know why i think it would just look a bit weird or this one I would do them on the insides of these so we will do one on the very middle inside here so all you need to do is measure just double measure the um, the width oh my goodness which obviously is just a smidge under six now so I would say it's like oh five and seven eighths mm, even less than that it's just one tick mark under the six basically so um you just need to add half an inch for each side and then decide how deep you want it so probably take it from there so about two inches so be two by uh seven basically so i will cut that with some of the scrap we've got left over and is that big enough nope so we will use this color so oh no i want it to be two but i need space for the flap so two and a half by seven and again the measurements will be in the description so don't worry and then you need to score half an inch on three sides so half an inch half an inch and half an inch Fold your score lines and I just like to double check that it is going to fit before I add any tape just the width really just make sure that it mm, yeah give it a really good burnish and that would be fine so really burnish that well Then we're just going to add some tape. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> there we go. 
and then mitre the corners so that square that is formed in the middle when you score it you're just going to cut that away and a little bit extra so just over the score lines Oops. you can see there, there's just a little bit a little bit extra cut off and then mitre the top of that flap as well and do the same on the other side back in want this bit so take all the tape off there's my pokey tool and when I'm doing a pocket I make sure that the bottom flap goes up first then the sides so that when um, things are going in, actually no, that's wrong. <laughs> Sides and then the bottom even. So when things are going in, they're not going to catch on that corner. <laughs> so sides, then the bottom. Oh gosh. And I'm going to line it up with the black cardstock. You could line it up at the very bottom if you want to. But I think it'll look neater. Here. Yeah. So really burnish that well, particularly on the sides, just to make sure it folds over still and give that a burnish on either side there. So we don't want it to be blank, we will add some designer series paper. I do have some extra coffee cups, coffee cups and stuff there which I will use. So I think I'll use the other side of this and cut out, so this was, what did I say, 6 by 2 let me just make a note of that, um, pocket 6 by 2 so the DSP would be 5 and 3 quarters by 1 and 3 uh, quarters, yeah. So let me just grab my trimmer. One and three quarters. Oh, is this big enough? By five and three quarters. back in there we go and that will sit nicely on there oops there we go I do actually think I'll use these on something else because I think that looks quite nice just like that. So there's your pocket. So that size pocket will fit here as well if you want pockets there. And if you want pockets on this piece, because this is a little bit bigger, this is six and a quarter, so it would be uh, six by two by one. No, hang on. <laughs> It would be uh, a seven, sorry. Oh, yeah, hang on, that's wrong, isn't it? This is actually for the pocket. It was seven by uh, two and a half brain then. Yeah, so for this one, it would be um, so that's six and a quarter, seven and a quarter. So I'll put, I'll say larger pocket. 
and I will put that in the description. Larger pocket would be seven and a quarter by two and a half. Okay, so all of this will be written in the description. Whoops. So that's the larger pockets for these two outer pages. And that is, I think, that's it for the album. Like I said, with the bits that are left over you could make some photo mats and I'll just show you how to do one of those quickly so these are, can just sit in these pockets like so or they can just be placed in there so what have I got left over here is that not closing Okay, so I've got a few pieces of, <laughs> what colour is this, uh, soft suede, oh my goodness, what is wrong with my brain, I think uh, <laughs> I need to go and have some dinner or something. So, a very quick photo mat, this is uh, 6 by so if we cut it down to let's just double check mm, yeah cut that down to five and a half by five and a half which it is and then grab some paper so make that five and a quarter by oops, five and a quarter can decorate the edge and Stampin' Up doesn't do the corner render anymore but I love it and so I haven't <laughs> I haven't got rid of it, but any corner rounder will do, really. I do want to get the We Are Memory Keepers, the big chompers. I want to get one of those. So, yep. Um, stick that on. some of the burlap <clears throat> again something that Stampin' Up doesn't <laughs> sell anymore is the handheld stapler but it's a stapler you could use any stapler it'd be fine um, grab a little length of burlap that's mm, six inches probably won't even need that much double it over like that and then staple that on oh she says why is this not working technical difficulties with the stapler oh <laughs> There we go, it's weird. Okay. Where was we? We was here. There we go. Alright, trim that down a bit. Doesn't need to be super long. And that will sit nicely in your pocket. 
in there. And you've got a little pull, so you can put a picture that side or on that side. Or like I said, they can just sit in side. Whoops, inside there. Cool. I'm going to pop that one in the middle there. So these spots you could, um, if you used uh, just some plain um, very vanilla cardstock or whisper white, you, these could be your journaling journaling spots. So you don't have to use designer series paper here. Or, um, you know, if you wanted to have one of these that would be for journaling and then the rest um, with your designer series paper on. So there's a few different options for decorating it as well. And you can, if you want to, add magnets for a closure, but it does stay closed. Um, or you could add some ribbon. So if you wanted to add the ribbon, I would stick it underneath this piece of designer series paper and then another piece on the back and cover the back with designer series paper. Then you could tie it there like so. But that is all I'm doing now for this little album. So let me just give you a very quick look. So that's the front and it measures when it's all done just over six by six and a quarter. So opens to that side, you can put pictures on that side and then that side opens. Then you've got another flap here that will open whoop, double. Then open that side and you've got your flap there that opens double and then you've got your nice big pocket in the middle there. So like I said all of the measurements will be in the description and a list of the products and if you click on one of those items it will take you to my online shop where you can get everything that you need to make this little album. I hope that you have enjoyed this video today and I will put um, another mini album tutorial over there if you want to make another one um, and then I'll just put another um, random tutorial over there so thanks very much for watching and i will see you next time bye